Commander Khalil Barrett of the RS-3 Interstellar to the Lazarus Island Command Center. Lazarus, please be advised that we have a special cargo on board and need your advice. Commander, we have a set protocol for this. I recommend we follow said protocol. Thank you, Orion. So, with regard to our special cargo, We'll wait for Lazarus to get back to us. Noted. Hey, why do you bother with all this, eh? I mean, seriously, you know, by the time this message reaches Earth, it'll take a couple of months. And then by the time we reply and then it comes back, it'll take another year or so, and I tell you, very long. Are you sure you're an astrophysicist? I know what I'm doing, Morgan. Hey. You don't call me Morgan, eh? Only my best friends call me Morgan. All right, Morgan. You call me Colonel. Call me Colonel. Man, I'm really tired. Okay, I, I am not in the right headspace to deal with your issues right now, so please. Oh, issues? What are you talking about issues now, huh? What are you trying to say? Nothing. Hey, hello? Why? You cannot repeat what you just said, is it? Why your balls got shot in the vacuum oh, of man, this outer shut space, up. Is it? All right, Orion, can you dump that cargo into the airlock and flush that crap into space? I'm afraid that the Interagency Space Debris Coordination Committee's guidelines prohibits us from doing just that, Commander. Under the UN Space Debris Mitigation Guidelines, specifically under Section 4, Guidelines 1 to 7... Get to the point, Orion. Well, in short, you're not allowed to dump anything into space, Commander. 500 million kilometers from Singapore. And I still can't freaking litter. Hey, where are you going? Huh? Can I take a building in the Like I said, I'm tired. Okay, I'm gonna go to my cabin. Can I go? transmission from Lazarus Island Command Center. I believe it is from Professor William Barrett. Would you like to view it? Sure thing. Hi Kyle. Hope you're doing well. I'm eating Nazi Lemak and I thought of you. I know how much you love your mom's Nazi Lemak. Oh, I've got mine from some online delivery establishment. Now, it doesn't even taste half as good as your mom's. Anyway, I've been monitoring your progress. You and Morgan are doing a great job out there. We at Lazarus Island are very proud of you. In fact, the whole country is proud of you. The two of you have become symbols of unity here. That if we all can work together, we as a country can achieve anything. you wanted to rest. I can't sleep. I've got too much on my mind. Look, I'm sorry for the way I reacted just now. Whatever. I'm used to it. Look, it's just the two of us out here, so let's keep it civil, all right? Come on, we need each other, man. You think I need you? Oh, you really think you're a damn killer, huh? Typical foreigner. <laughs> no, I'm a Singaporean. You are a Singaporean. <laughs> Listen, I read your bloody file. Okay, you were born in Germany, you migrated to Singapore in 2162. You got the government scholarship, you got excuse from NS, but you managed to get a place in the Singapore Space Agency. You don't know me. 
I don't know you. Yeah, true, maybe. But do you know who is Gerald Quack? Do you know who's Christopher Spikerman? Do you know who's Hafiq Sulaiman? Do you know who's Tanki Lan? No, no, who are they? They are my batch boys. They're hardworking, they're gifted, and they always had my back. <sighs> you don't know them because somehow they all managed to pass up on this mission. <laughs> I worked my ass off to get into this program. Hey, we all know that you got into this mission because of your father, William Barrett, science head at the agency. But you think I coasted my way through? No. No, I worked hard. I paid my dues. In fact, I have to work harder because my father is William Barrett. Don't give me the sob story, all right? Your, your, your assumption that I have this easy life or that I am sucking the good out of the country is your truth, not mine. So you don't judge me. I'm half Malay, I'm Singaporean, and have every right to be in this seat as much as you. I don't understand why I have to be on this mission. Kyle, you are a brilliant scientist, engineer, and pilot. You have so much to contribute to our country. Our country? Something tells me that our country doesn't care about us. Well, the people of the agency have always cared. I'm not talking about the agency, I'm talking about people in general. All right, they don't want us here. I don't understand why we are here. We are here because this country needs my help for spearheading their interstellar missions. But more importantly, we are here because of your late mother. Don't, don't you do that. Don't you bring my mother into this and play up your emotional bullshit. You can choose to believe it's bullshit, but that's your truth, not mine. Your mother wanted us to come back to Singapore. She wanted you to find your roots. We, we don't have any roots here. I used to have the same doubts as you. I wasn't sure if I fit in or find a meaningful life. I thought of giving up sometimes. But then she gave me this. It literally means to uphold the sky where your feet are planted. It is about giving your all for the country you are in. I mean, that guy on the cover, Lieutenant Adnan, he fought and died to protect Singapore. And Singapore was a British colony at that time, but it didn't matter. He was bound by duty and honor to serve the land he's on, without question. I really miss her, you know? Son, I know. That's why I've come to love this place. My heart is here, with your mother. Commander, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. That's good to know. I asked because you are tearing. And I've been programmed to detect tears as a symptom of depression caused by isolation. Sometimes they mean more. Define more. People shed tears when they are happy, grateful, appreciative, even when they're at peace. Definition noted. Hey, you better don't lie to Oriana. If you can't take it, just say you can't take it. Cannot take what? Oh, this space travel, loneliness, dealing with me. <laughs> Actually, I really don't understand how they chose you as the commander for this mission. 
That's the problem, isn't it? That's why you've been an ass to me this whole time. Because you outrank me, and yet the people at Lazarus Island appointed me as mission commander. I am not the one who's crying out loud in outer space. Do you want to know why they picked me? I'll tell you why. It's because of your temperament. You are a brilliant soldier and pilot, a government scholar with a degree in engineering and astrophysics, yet you're passed up for every high-profile mission. And do you want to know why? Yeah, because of people like you. How did you know all this? Because I read your file too. Stop blaming other people for your own issues, man. Take responsibility for your own life, instead of taking it out on others, for God's sake. Wow, not bad. You got it back. What? Got what back? Your guts to argue with me. Shut up, man. Just shut up. Okay, this is day 218 uh, on RS3 Interstellar. Uh, system's good, all is good, no issues. Uh, I have a question for you fellas at Lazarus. Yeah. Why can't you put a female partner for this mission? I really don't understand. I really cannot tahan this fella. Really, it's the way he talks lah. Throw no! Huh? You know, I, you see, look. He talks like he knows everything. And I know he's got some German in him. But he grew up in Singapore. You know, we all are Singaporeans. To learn a bit of Singlish lah. How difficult can that be? A bit of la here, a bit of la there. I tell you. But um, all that said and done, I mean, uh, he's got a good heart. Yes, uh, he's uh, really good at what he does. I mean, why I'm saying that is because if it was not for him, we would have lost the artificial gravity reactor. Yeah, I mean, so I would say that this mission really needs him. He's a good guy, yeah. Well, um, other than that, everything else here is good. But I'm still gonna stay with that point, okay? I would really like to work with a Kylie than a Kyle. You get it? All right? Other than that, um, this is Colonel Morgan signing off from uh, RS3 Interstellar. Ryan, I'm making a decision. Set a new course. Note. How about the special cargo? Do we follow set protocol? We're taking it with us. We have to make this work. Give this mission some meaning. Set course for home.